we believe it's possible that he is on the run. Yeah, the search for a man wanted in connection with a shooting that killed one person this morning at a bar in Warren. The city has identified, and we'll show you it coming up, but the city also says it wants the bar to close and has been talking with the owner about it. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. Lindsay's off. This morning's shooting was along Parkman Road. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley has our top story. Police continue searching for Zayvon Hamid. Hamid is facing a murder charge stemming from an early morning shooting at the Park Place 24 Tavern on Parkman Road in Warren. Ma'am, what is wrong? Somebody has gotten shot, so we need an ambulance Who right now. It happened around 2 a.m. Monday. When officers arrived, they found Nathaniel Bradley dead on the floor. Our hearts go out to that young man's family. It's very uh, disheartening to hear that uh, there was a, a, a shooting, a, a violent incident that left uh, a family with one loss of life. Investigators say Bradley and Hamid were fighting prior to the shooting, although at this point it's unknown what the fight was about. There was, uh, there was a spat between the two. Uh, it turned physical. Um, some, some punches were thrown prior to the actual shooting itself. Back at the scene, it's much quieter here this afternoon, but as you can see behind me, the only visible reminder of what happened here is a lone piece of crime scene tape attached to a utility pole. Police call this particular bar a headache, having responded to it multiple times in recent years. We've had several incidents there. And this is just kind of like uh, cherry on top of the Sunday. Officials say the owner has taken steps to try to squash such activity, but despite a sign on the door reading 30 and over, no exceptions, IDs checked, both Hamid and Bradley, who are in their 20s, were inside. We are meeting with the bar owner to come to an agreement to shut it down. Either we're going to do it forcefully or they're going to do it voluntarily one way or the other because uh, they've, they've seemed to lost control of the place. As for Hamid, investigators say he should be considered armed and dangerous. So if you see him, call police. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.